Hello everyone, my name's Hugh. I'm in the senior accountant here at XQCPA, and today we'll be going over the top three mistakes that business owners make today. Uh, so one of the mistakes that business owners do happen to not give is the business bank accounts as well as credit card accounts. You wanna to try to provide all of this around year end so that you're not missing out on any business deductions. Uh, most importantly, you want to try to avoid um, any business expenses in your personal accounts. So if it ever comes down to an audit and the IRS uh, needs to look into that transactions, uh, they will need to look into your personal accounts and we want to try to mitigate that risk. Uh, so again, do provide all your business accounts so that you don't miss out on any business deductions. Hello everyone, my name is Sean. I'm one of the accounts here at XQCPA. And today I'm gonna to be talking about one of the most common mistakes I see business owners making today. And that is investing money into your business when you reach a plateau or a decline phase. Now I recommend taking a look at your current financials, going through the expenses and seeing what's really necessary to operate your business and you can also go through your processes that you have in place to see if there's any areas for improvement. Now this will take a lot of time and effort, but I personally feel like this is the best course of action to get your business into a growth stage and out of that plateau or decline phase. Hi, I'm Tasha and I'm the accounting supervisor and I want to talk to you about how many business owners out there believe that they can do it all. They think they can do it all by themselves and that they could do it better or even faster than if they hired someone to help them because they know the ins and outs of their own business. Which may be true, however, this could lead to a lot of stress and poor time management. Instead of trying to be a master at everything, you should really try to delegate tasks to others. That way you can really focus on growing your business as well as having a better work-life balance. For more tips and tricks to help your business, Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.